Trinity River. You may not have heard of it. It was dammed nearly 47 years ago in 1963 as part of one of California's water projects. It lies solely on the Hoopa Valley Indian Reservation. Due to the damming, many Chinook and steelhead salmon have been killed and their populations continue to decline. The culture of the Indians lies solely around the fish majorly impacted by this. In 2002, over 35,000 fish died and the number continues to grow. Today I'm going to be speaking with Mike Orcutt, Director of Fishery at the Hoopa Valley Indian Tribe. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, my name is Mike Orcutt. I'm the Fisheries Director for the Hoopa Valley Tribe. And um, the Hoopa Tribe is, uh, anyway, we're located on the Lower Trinity River. And we're actually the largest land based reservation in the state of California. And we have what's called Federal River Reserve Fishing Rights along with the Yurok Tribe to have fish that come up to climb with the Trinity Rivers. Now, there's two dams on, we're on the Trinity River and the Trinity River dams were authorized for construction in 1955 and completed in 1963. That water is diverted into the Central Valley and represents the only out-of-basin transfer of water um, out of the Central Valley um, into the, to the Sacramento River. Klamath River about 16 miles up from the estuary, or the Pacific Ocean where the Klamath meets the estuary near Requa. Uh, in 2002, somewhere is around, there's an estimated between 30 and 70,000, and the most recent one that I've seen is about 70,000 fish, adult fish, died. And it was mainly in the lower Klamath, uh, about river mile 16 and most of those fish were the larger run of Chinook that come up the Klamath, it was the fall run Chinook. There were also steelhead and there were also coho salmon which are in ESA endangered species listed, uh, some on its species, but it was primarily fall run Chinook. Um, that's the, the, the big event that occurred in 2002. Mm -hmm. Mainly it was the Trinity River Division, which is a series of dams that impound water upriver of our reservation and export it into the Central Valley. But commonly, what's referred to there is between '63 and the early '70s, late '70s, excuse me. About 80 to 90 percent of the some on it, um, which are spring run, fall run, Chinook, steelhead, and also co salmon, had declined. We have about 2,700 members here, and our reservation was established in the 1860s, and because of the remoteness, and and yet, you know, we're, we we didn't see the arm of, of development and, um, I guess, the mainstream of society because we have, the river was dammed in the 60s, but uh, the importance for the tribe is that you know, our ceremonies and our belief system and our culture is directly um, tied to the health and uh, well-being of the river. It's, it's, it's what I would refer to as the lifeblood of the tribe. It flows through our reservation. It provides food. It provides basket material for basket makers. And so one statement we've always made in different forums as well the tribe's usage and dependence on the resources is as profound today as it always has been. But now, the other thing that's impending on us is all of the, you, you see the newspapers and, um, you know, Governor Schwarzenegger and Senator Feinstein over the last, you know, two years have been in the paper numerous times and saying they need to solve the California water crisis. Well, we're a part of that because our water is diverted into the Central Valley and is utilized there. It's used for hydropower, it's used for agriculture, it's used for municipal, M&I, municipal, and, and, and industrial uses. So when they say fix the problem in agriculture, it's used for municipal, M&I, municipal, and, and, and industrial uses. So when they say fix the problem and solve California water problems, we have a concern 
of the long-term stability and maintenance of our water supply for our fishery. And we all program has been hindered because we've only gotten about half of the money that's needed to implement the restoration plan. So if there's money that's going to be funneled off for, for example, a couple of them I can think of is the Bay Delta Conservation Plan, which has some elements of a peripheral canal. That when the demand and thirst for water and growth in Cal future growth in California, then we we're very concerned that that our interests are protected uh, when 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 the federal and state governments fix quote unquote the California water problem. Let's hope this all can change and the fish can once again be brought back to their natural abundance.